Kaleowa really is pretty from pretty much every angle. I do love it. Let's take, uh, I, I just noticed this viewpoint was right by the uh, teleport point I always used to use to get to the, uh, the boss down there. Oh, yeah. Just gorgeous. The Weeping Garden is what it's called, huh? Alright, so we're going to continue our exploration of this area. Um, going to that domain and whatever's in there. But... I did notice we finally have the official... event notices for the uh, next wishes. Figured we should check that out. So yeah, it is Yemiko and Child. Tarteglia. And yeah, we have uh, Toma. Oh, hey, we have... Um, that's where her name is, Layla. And, uh, but we have uh, Hazo as well. That'd be nice. Get Aang up to uh, a higher constellation, maybe. All right, then. I guess I don't, I don't think I'll, uh, I could get either of these even if I wanted to. And I'm not so sure I want to use my guaranteed wish on either of them anyways. Definitely not on Ye Miko, even though I do like her. But I haven't ever actually tried out Child, so I can't really say for him. For sure. Who knows, maybe I'll really fall in love with his combat style. All right. I'm a little damaged right now. Must be from, uh... Some commissions I was doing, or... Or domains or something. I'll heal. Alright. Now... Where's the nearest chest? Ah, the direction I wanted to go anyways. Convenient. Oh, almost didn't even see that. I was looking at the hill troll <laughs> before I saw this. What are you guys doing? Stabilize. Beg for mercy. Nothing much. Oh, they were Who tossed these in here. Are they burying the cabbage. But why, hill trolls? Why? Ooh, we have a, uh, a world quest here, too. Might as well do that. I did not mean to use that. Who are you? All oh, the entrance is uh, blocked off. It's Vermeer. You look like you're from Mondstadt. Oh, this is terrible. How will I paint like this? Oh, you're a painter? Are you friends with, uh, or do you know Albedo? What's wrong? You. Oh, it's you, Traveler. Well, here's the problem. I've been looking for inspiration around, uh, Luhua Pool. Or Luhua Pool. And I wanted to paint a few pictures to bring back with me. But I haven't been able to find a good angle, so none of my paintings have uh, been to my satisfaction. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll let you know a little secret. There is a great spot, a great view, up on that cliff right over there. Make a beautiful painting. I promise. I was so focused on taking the scenery... Uh, the scenery in that I only realized that most of my paintbrushes and paints had gone missing when I arrived here. Oh. Well. It's probably a bigger barrier to painting than, uh, not finding a good spot. I must have left them in the previous posts where I'd painted pictures. Could you help me look for them? Um, and where did you paint those pictures? Uh, actually... I don't remember myself... I was too engrossed in my painting each time to pay attention to pay my surroundings in much mind, so I can't give you very specific locations. 
could you at least show me the paintings? But I've only drawn two pictures in this area, so it can only be in those two places. I'll give you these two paintings. I'm sure that I must have left my painting tools in the areas I, uh, I was using as a reference for these paintings. Once you've found them, please bring them back to me. I'll keep looking around here. I'm sure there's a better angle to take. All right. Oh my, a thousand years of loneliness. When did I get this? The beginning of the Springvale Hunter's tragic fantasy journey. Where did misfortune first befall him? What marks the start and finish of the thousand year journey of loneliness? Let this first volume of Thousand Years of Loneliness be your guide through the fantastical fog that this is the life of Gothson. Seriously, when did I get this? Hmm. This isn't a painting. This is more of a sketch. But I think I know exactly where that is. And this one. Oh, this one's a painting. And hey, it's the spot I was recommending him at for it to go to. That's cool. Or around the spot I was recommend recommending him to go to. Right, here we are. This should be the spot that was used as a scene of the painting. But I'm not seeing, oh. Are these the paints that the artist was looking for? So many colors. Well, let's get them back. Does, does he not need the other spot? All right. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. Ah, we can do that in a minute. Let's focus on the Lua pool now. Thank you for the assist. Oh. Quite a bit of uh, core lapis here. Do you have more paints? Is this all of them? Should bring more materials to paint with next time. Maybe I should keep a memo of the things I lose instead. Eh. Come on, you misled me. Damn it. Paimon telling me to take them back to... Back to him immediately. Silly Paimon. We found it! This must be the brush the artist was looking for. It is a great view. A great angle. Uh, floor to this body of water. Oh, hey. Are we going to be able to drain this at all? Kind of looks like we might. I think I saw a pressure plate down there at least. Mm, there's a treasure chest nearby too. Where could you be? You're not on top of this. Oh, hey. Actually. I was going to say you're not on top of this rock, but there is something Yahoo! here. Damn it. Did, is that not enough? Let's play. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, there is something. Got, I didn't even see that. Just to... 
Ah. <clears throat> Have you heard the ballad of the treasure chest? No, but I also didn't hear the sound of the chest opening. What is this, a rock? Oh, a strange stone. Finding all kinds of buried treasure around here. On accident. Hmm. Straight up, huh? Wait, where am I? It's over here. Is this all you needed? Just the paintbrush and the paint. You don't need it. Don't need any other help. You found my painting tools? Yep. Just as I thought. I left them in the place I was taking references from. I tend to put things I've used on the ground while I paint out of habit. Hmm. It was pretty far away. It would have taken you a long time to get back there, I imagine. Seeing as you're not a vision user or a flying champion like us. When I'm in too much of a rush, I tend to leave a lot of things behind. Thank you so much. If not for you, I'd have to go back into the city to buy more. Going to continue painting here? Don't even mention it. I've heard people say that these two stone, uh, these two statues have eyes that could light up. And that you could see that from afar. They are pretty cool. I feel like you'd need to be a little further away to get a good view of them, though. Giant statues with blazing eyes. Standing guard next to a mountain. It could have surely have made for an ex excellent painting. But when I came here, the statues were here. But there were no shining eyes to be found. You could add the shining eyes. I thought that I might be that I might have missed something, uh, some special timing, or that my angle was off, which is why I've been walking around. But it seems that no matter where I stand, the scenery doesn't change. Hmm. I wonder. Maybe if we activate this. The only thing I've gotten out of this whole adventure is this. I found it in the pond down there. Hmm, I found one too. Did you? Let me have a look. Why, I never. They're identical. Strange. There are even words carved into the back. Is it, is it the strange stone? The pearl we found? Now, what do they say? The stone sentinels hold the gate as such. Against those who add not a finishing touch. Hmm. What does this mean? Well, this rock's of little use to me anyway. So why don't you have it? Consider it thanks for helping me find my tools. Actually, I have a thought. It's just a wild guess. But don't you think these two rocks look a bit like eyes? Yeah, you think? Want me to put them in the sockets up there? If they have any? they really are eyes, do you think that the uh, finishing touch has something to do with these two stones? Well, it's just a guess. So I don't think too, uh, so I don't think too hard about it. I'm going to look for other views now. Thanks for, help find, uh, thanks for finding my tools for me. You're quite welcome. Unravel the secrets. Behind the Lua Pool. Well, I guess let's try, uh, actually, you know what, let's get our, uh, exploration food, wherever it might be. Hello, would you like an eye? Oh, uh, no, does it, barely has a face. The statue's head is a hole in it, or the statue's head has a hole in the head. That's a bit awkward. It seems to have, uh, seems some, and it seems something may be inserted into it. Is this really that big a stone? Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool. Uh, is that a treasure hunter? But I dare try to take that chest. Maybe I should just take them out now. <laughs> Another test subject. By royal decree. Here we go. Get over here, you. Stop that. Time for takeoff. 
There we go. What do we have here? I'm not sure if this is I don't think this is the chest I was looking for before, but what else do we have back here? Anything? Yes. Ooh. Hello. I didn't even need to use my uh my compass. This window's the only easy way out of here. <laughs> Looks like there's something straight down, though. Um, granted, I think we need to add this one here first. <laughs> All right. Hole in the head in the head. There we go. Hey, now they are um glowing for you though. Oh, so that's how it is. These two rocks really are the eyes of those two of the two statues. Your eyes will only shine once you slotted those these stones in. Yeah, though more specifically or more accurately, their eye. I mean, each one only has one. Looks like I'll be able to paint something great after all. I'm off to a good I'm off to find a good angle. Thank you so much. I still think your uh the one you had as a color painting is the best angle. And I think Mihoyo agrees they did make it a viewpoint after all. You gonna have trouble climbing back up there? Very pretty. Oh, what opponent? Ah. Midnight Phantasma. Think Ooh. you can get away? This is unfortunate for you two. Yahoo! Right. Yeah. Oz, reveal thyself. <laughs> Vengeance will be mine. Wait, is he still alive? Yes, he is. Let's stop that. Damn it. That bubble ruined me. Crush. Here we go. There we go. Shall we see what's inside? A treasure room? Maybe lore secrets? I'm excited. Spiders! Nope. Ah. Can I just... Time for takeoff. Kill them. No. Uh... I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Die. Oh, okay. Whew. We have a luxurious and two precious chests. Oh, no, this is an exquisite. Quality. More speed. Oh no, they're two exquisites. And then beautiful. No lore though. That's too bad. Still. Interesting ruins. More speed. I wonder if these 
had anything to do with uh, Guizhong or Zhongli. Very interested in finding more lore about them. Maybe when I do uh, Zhongli's story quest, we'll get something about him or about them. <laughs> the sounds he makes are <laughs> make me laugh a little bit. Oh, do we need a uh, uh, the uh, special stones? any around here let's, let's take a quick look ow another chest higher up it's a little distracting but uh... huh. hello huh? Maybe we should get a uh, pyro out huh. there's the chest yeah, I do need that pyro That uh, dendro slime is uh, causing some trouble. Oh, wait. Never mind. Uh, let's switch out you. For, uh... You, you Benny. want me on your team? Benny. Oh, I don't know why this reminded me. Oh, wait, no, no, Brian, I need to get the boss materials. I was going to say, I had the, uh... Well, I can at least do, uh, do Diona. Finally get her final assumption. Nose can smell those people they are familiar with and like. <laughs> uh, you're mistaken. Oh. How could I say something like that? Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, it's sweet. And yeah. Nothing sweeter than a cat that's showing you affection, since it's... They do it for so few people. I need a few more for his. And then I need a few oceanid things for Mona. Alright then. I can put these to good use. Continue going up. Ah. I can put these to good use. More nice views. Now we're going down. Oh, more ruins. Okay. But I'm not seeing what I was looking for. The, uh... I think there might be another way of activating those. Maybe just simple lighting or something. Fire, that is. Time to scout. Not seeing the chest. There we go. Um, ah, there's one. Oh no, there, there is what I was. Type of stone I was looking for. Shut up! Brace yourself. There we go. At least 
good luck doesn't discriminate by clan. Only found one of two. Where's the second of two? Didn't see where that was pointing. Maybe it's directly down. Hmm. Uh, not Mount Tianhung. That's a bit further than we want to go. Stin Lua Pool. Mountain wall here. Oh, there's the other one we were looking for. More speed. More speed. There we go. <laughs> At least good luck doesn't discriminate by clan. Now, where's that chest? Inside these ruins? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. I guess let's see where these rooms go, too. You, I think his weapon is missing. Mercy. You, you're gonna die to slimes. Oh, yeah, any minute. Eye for an eye. I suppose it is a downside to uh, having the treasure compass out is that we can't have our food bag out. More speed. Um, sort of up ish. Oh no, it's through, uh, hello. <laughs> At least good luck doesn't discriminate by clan. Crumble. Crush. I was about to, uh, have muses. Beg for mercy. Ability to break everything, but, uh, Did I not see one of the, uh, the special, um, whatchamacallums? The special, uh, ore to activate this thing? Shoot. I must, okay, good, it came back. Ooh, uh, precious. What do we have here? Nice. A little hidden uh, treasure oasis of sorts. All right, up. Ooh. Before we go after that treasure. does that give us? Nothing. Oh, another one. Yeah. There we go. Uh -uh. Have you heard the ballad of the treasure chest? Uh, no, but you keep taunting me and not telling me. It's very rude, Venti. Here we go. Just tell me the ballad of the treasure chest. How about? Huh. I think uh, another treasure chest was up here. Yeah. Right 
head on over here. Maybe. Oh, we're back on Mount uh, Tianhong. I guess let's kill this Vishap I just saw. Wherever it went. More speed. Come here. Shudder. I condemn you. Oh, that activated a chest. Hmm. Does the show here? kill everything you Rock see? I think this is the chest we were uh, looking for earlier. Be more. Oh, down that way. Uh, Mount uh, Tianhong. I'm sure has more chests, but that is not our focus right now. We are interested in Luwa Pool and Luwa Pool alone. that note okay those ruins are taking us into dune new ruins over here which is a bit out of our zone of interest so we'll call it there okay we have another chest down here ish Seeing where? Maybe inside here? No. Compass? Oh, still further down. Over this hill? Time to scout. Oh, we have a cave. Well, not really a cave. do we have here? All right. It's probably about time for us to go to that uh, domain over there. Just check one more time for ch for chests. Damn it. Is that thing is to mount to uh, Tianhong again? Also, we need our... Uh, delicious cream stew again. Usual, actually. Okay, it's right up there. Ooh, lizard, please. Yes. Thank you. I'm just going to assume it's on the top. Oh, this is taking us back to Mount Tianhong, I think. No, maybe not. No, it is. Damn it, Tianhong. Some boars. 
We're gonna ignore you, chest. I'm sorry. I never thought I'd say that. But you are not our focus. Lua Pool is. Where's that path go? Hmm. Oh, I see a house up there. It's probably Mount Tianhung again. The path between the two places, specifically. Slime. Never stood a chance. I think I saw a house up here. Yeah. A couple. And still counts as Lua. Lua Pool. Shut up. Yeah, I had a feeling what when I saw those three. Here? enough bamboo um anyone up here though oh hello what do we have here a chest silly oh there's something over there too it's probably the usual though oh but hello Benty, can you help me those thank you oh Seely it's pretty here oh wait is this no this isn't near the Guizhong Ballista is it oh we've made our way back I see yeah now the Guizhong Ballista was down here um this is, uh, what's his name's house? Mona's, uh, friend. His shop. I see. I see indeed. Maybe I should do his quest. We have time, right? Mr. Zhu? I can at least see what you want. If only I could eat it again. It was so good. That's what some, uh, certain someone always says about Jade Parcells. Eat what again? Oh, a traveler. When I was young, I used to travel all over the place. What I loved most about traveling was getting to try all the different foods. I know, right? I agree. Both here and in real life. After eating my way across the continent, I returned to Liu and opened my restaurant. Emerald Maple, in the hopes I could recreate the flavors of my travels. Ah, a tale, a tale as old as time. But there's the there, there's this one dish I can never quite remember the name of. Just how am I going to recreate that flavor? Hmm. Well, could you tell me anything about the dish? What a tragedy! Oh. I've eaten such a wide variety of delicious foods in my time that I just can't remember what, that, what this one was. Well, I'll help you out. Eat what again? I get it. All I remember is it was a sweet, fragrant dish. The sheer look of it was enough to get me drooling at the mouth. And to top it all off, it was nutritious too. Hmm... Sweet, fragrant, and nutritious, nutritious dish. 
The ingredients are a lot of fowl and some sweet flowers. It's cold. Ah, sweet mistress or something like that. If you'd be able to make one for me, I'd be ever so grateful. Traveler, over to you. Hmm. Give the sweet mistress to Mr. Zhu. This life isn't bad either. I mean... Wait, do I already have it? Oh, you're back. Did you find the mystery dish? Great, give it here. A sweet madame. I guess that counts. It's made with fowl as well. Ah, oh, this is the one! Uh, it's the taste I remember. The Thank you ever so much. Please, take this for your trouble, traveler. Well, a nice, quick... Oh, chop suey. That is also, in addition to a dish, a song. By, uh... Shoot, who did that? Apocalyptica? It's a metal band. What was it? Metallica. Well, anyways, um... Wait, wasn't there a Sealy over here that I saw? It wasn't Mount Tianan, so I might as well get the Sealy, right? Saw a ceiling. Wouldn't be faster? I know I saw you. Where did you go? There it is. Sneaky little Sealy. Um. Alright, where are you gonna go? I didn't even see your sconce. Ah! There we go. I suppose this is close oh, enough to count as Lua Pool. It's its surroundings at the its immediate surroundings at the very least. <laughs> Got the boar. Nice. Did you just shoot a sunsetia down, Venti? That was a uh, good shot. gonna do here I don't oh yeah you can see it down there um ah another one of these that anyone who follows in the footsteps of the immortals kowtow before the treasure's gate one are we gonna need Yonfei for this or amber some quicker. They all went out. Did we approach it wrong? Adventure time. No, I don't think so. I think we just uh, took too long. At the ready. Oh. Um. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, I guess we did approach it wrong. Um. So do we only want four of them? Yeah, I think so. Unless... Just so happens that the order happens to be, uh. Yeah. Alright. Um. I wonder if. 
proper order is at all related to these sorts of positions. Hmm. There's probably a hint somehow, somewhere, as to the proper order. Let's try. Those four? No. Let's uh let's go search around a little bit more before coming back here. So there might be a hint. Actually, maybe the hint was in what the uh the thing said. More speed. Crush. Going. Why are you running away? Am I that terrifying to slimes? Feel a little bad now. All right. Um, I'm not really seeing any uh anything around here necessarily. I think the hint is, what is that? Um, whatever that blue text was. Or rather, I think the hint was contained within that blue text. Oh, nothing. Just a little more. sigils. Alright. Hopefully I can uh, see that blue text again. That anyone who follows in the footsteps of the immortals kowtow before the treasure's gate. Hmm. Kowtow before the treasure's gate. It's saying, uh, do these three? Wait, come on. There we go. And then the gate. saying do everyone but the treasure's gate first you know damn if only we had an immortal who probably knew the secret cough cough Zhongli shifty eyes cough Hello, fishies. Hmm. Yeah, that's that blue text doesn't really tell us much. Unless the treasure's gate Maybe he's referring to that? No. Yeah, maybe though. Maybe there's a hint over here. I mean, I suppose you could consider that over there was a gate, maybe. But no, I feel like it's talking about the entrance to that domain. Oh wait, there's a... I mean, there's some stuff down below. 
old um, ruins are no longer accessible being due to being submerged. I wonder if that's a part of the hint. So, that's a gate. Um, anything else underneath? Beneath the waves? We should get Mona out. So we can run on the water. This is destiny. I know, right? Damn it. Never mind, I guess I can't run on the water. It's not starting from there. Damn it, Mona. I have one job for you. That is to run. Thank you. Um... I think this is another one. No. Maybe. That was a gate. But doesn't really connect to any of them. I'm seeing they kind of point at some of them. One, two, I'll race you there. three, four. Kind of points at that one. No. That definitely wasn't it. No, there are only one, two... Oh, no, never mind. There's several of them. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, Amber. It's my bad. Because I could try literally every combination, but that's quite a few combinations. All right, I'm thinking maybe there is another hint for this within Zhongli's quest, perhaps. Because, like I say, he would be one to know. Pointed stare keeping his secrets to himself with his Archon eyes. Osma yes, yes, Osmanthus wine. Um, I wonder if you ever shared that with uh, Huizhong. But, um, yeah, I'm thinking I should do his quest his story quest. And if it doesn't have a hint, well, I can come, I can always come back here and, uh, try to brute force this. Yeah. In the meantime, I still need to go down to the, say hi to the Primora Primo Geo, uh, Geo Vishap. Maybe that's where I should go next. Tianchu uh, Valley. Okay, I wanted to check out this one again. I feel like it might... Clearly, it's they're connected in some way, right? Have I ever read this ancient stone? Salt seals the rune within. None uninvited may enter in. Right. 
Gotta be invited, huh? Maybe both of them are tied to Zhongli's uh, story quest. All right, to wrap things up for today, let's do one or two of these world quests at Wang Shu, and depending how long they take, Smiley Yan Chao, Mr. Chef. Oh, what should I do? What's wrong? Oh, it's you. Nothing's wrong, except I might need to start looking for a new job soon. Why? I, does the inn not need a chef anymore? The other day, the innkeeper asked me to prepare a new dish that would attract more guests. It should be presentable and tasty, but also stylish and artisan. Oh, and have personality. <laughs> Is that all? Would they also like to uh, have it made of solid gold and uh, maybe sing the guests a song while they're at it? I've been trying to come up with something satisfactory over the last week, but the innkeeper didn't like any dish I came up with. Oh, what did you make? I give it all I had, really. I idolized everything I learned from honing my culinary skills in the mountains. Candied silk flour, uh, chingshin, and lotus seed duck stew. Mmm, duck stew, sounds good. Crab roast, uh, stewed meatballs. But he would shake his head at everything and ask me to give it another thought. But I've already reached my limit, eh? Oh, right. I still gotta cook something for that freeloader. <laughs> what freeloader? It's about time he came around. Oh, you, are you talking about Chow? Oh, no. You mean, uh, Jang Shui? Or is it... Jiang Shui? Perhaps. Unless you know of any other parasites who'd shamelessly come here every day asking for food. I'm not sure who that is. I Maybe I'd recognize them if I saw them. Since you're already here, why don't you grab a bite too? You can sit over there. I'll serve the food when it's ready. Sure thing. A dish beyond mortal ken. Oh yeah. What are you doing here? Huh. I see that we have a special guest today. Usually it's just that chef and I, eating in silence. Perhaps your presence will liven up today's meal. But it appears that the chef is terribly worried about something today. Why the long face? You know he considers you a freeloader, right? No, guess we have to sit in this. Guess that seat is reserved for the chef. These meatballs are not half bad. This meat just melts in one's mouth. The broth packs a lot of flavor as well. It seems like the freeloader likes it. Huh? There's crab roe in the meat. No wonder it tastes so unusually fresh. Come, traveler. Try one more. I'll teach you what to do. First, use chopsticks to open the meatball up. Then, soak it in the broth and eat it with some rice. Mm, wow, you talk like an expert. <laughs> Even a fool would learn a thing or two about food if they got to eat such delicacies every day. Let me teach you the correct way to taste the stewed fish. Mmm. Uh, he is very clearly staring at you uh, with angry eyes there, uh, Zhang Shua. You better enjoy the food, because you've because uh, that might have been the last meal I got to cook here. Last me who got to cook here? Who told you so? Oh no. Is it because of me? Is the innkeeper fed up with you because, because you've been feeding me all this time? Oh, at least you're worried about him, I guess. Seems a bit unfair, given that I supplied the inn with some of my best catches free of charge. Ah. Not quite a freeloader, then. That should have covered at least a part of my bill. Besides... The innkeeper isn't known for being a miser. Give me a break. It was just a few fish, and most of them ended up in your stomach anyway. Okay, so still kind of a freeloader. So, actually... <sighs> Fine, I'll tell you. 
explains their quest to Zhang. Sure. Presentable, tasty, stylish artisan and with personality. And needs to do a little dance as well. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's any dish in the world that'd meet the innkeeper's requirements. You think it's funny? We'll see how you'll laugh when you come over next time and I won't be here to feed you for free. All right, all right. It's not so funny after all. So that's why you've been looking so worried today. It's hard to be in high spirits when your boss expects you to perform miracles all of a sudden. Hmm. There might be a way out. Even though I can't cook myself, I happen to know a recipe for a unique dish. Oh? I came across that uh, dish during a trip abroad when I happened to be a guest at a local Big Shot's house. They called it Chicken Tofu Pudding. Not gonna lie, doesn't sound like I'd be a fan. By the looks of it, you wouldn't say that it's a meat dish. It's really, it really is as delicate as tofu pudding, with a strong flavor of meat and herbs. A rare meat dish that imitates vegetarian cuisine. The meal left me so curious about the dish that I asked my host for the recipe. However, I'm a bad cook, so the recipe has been collecting dust in my chest ever since. Well, could you give it to us? Surprised you managed to get a hold of such a recipe. Uh, long story short, I helped someone, and they invited me to a feast to show their gratitude. A chef who came up with the recipe didn't mind sharing it with me. He was confident that we, uh, one can count the people skilled enough to make such a dish on one hand anyway. Mind giving it to me? No doubt about it. According to that chef, those who attempt to make the dish have to be uh, not only skilled in the art of cooking, but also in the art of the sword. Why? Where does the sword come in? Hmph. What kind of dish requires swinging a sword? I can chop meat just fine with my knife. I agree. I'm afraid you'd sooner cut the chopping board in half than mince the meat fine enough with that knife of yours. You think a sword would do better? was told that minced meat is the highlight of the dish. How are you going to mince meat better with a sword than a knife? As such, precise sword technique is the key to success. First, one needs to portion the meat and chop it up with the sword's edge. Then, use the sword's backside to mince it. Next. Hold on, wait a minute. That recipe of yours is good for nothing in our hands. I'm not much of a swordsman, and you're not a cook. Pointed stare. Gee. Where can we find a sword wielding warrior who also happens to <laughs> have some culinary skills? Gee. This person might be closer than you think. M me? Precisely. Isn't it a fortunate twist of fate that you know how to use both the sword and the stove? How about, how about we let the Traveler attempt to make that, di that unique dish? But the Innkeeper wanted Yan Shao to. Well, the Innkeeper only told Yan Shao to come up with a new dish. He didn't specify who had to cook it. But he didn't come up with this dish. And neither did you, actually. Someone else did. So it's still an open question. Am I right, Chef? Ah, oh, right. Your logic is sound. I feel like this defeats the purpose of having a new dish, though, if the chef can't cook it. But what ingredients do we need to make chicken tofu pudding? Chicken, tofu, and probably some sort of slime. Nothing special, really. Just fowl, ham, bird egg, and snapdragon. Really? No, uh, tofu? Or a slime, I'm surprised. Still, have some fowl and ham stored, or still have some fowl and ham stored in the kitchen, but we're fresh out of bird eggs and snapdragon. I mean, I have a million of each. Had 
Had I known sooner, I wouldn't have made those Matsutake uh, scrambled eggs. <laughs> Whoops. But no, don't worry, I have you covered. Traveler, can I count on you to bring me one of each? Of course. Once you find them, we'll work that chicken tofu pudding out together. Uh, naturally. I'll make sure to repay you for your help. Thank you in advance. Uh, it's nonsense. You've helped me multiple times. All right, Smiley. I have your bird egg and Snapdragon. I also had the ham and the fowl, I think, but... All right, we've got all the ingredients needed. Let's get to work. So what do you want me to do first? Well, maybe our freeloading friend can provide us with some instructions. Yeah, he does have the recipe. Where is he? Right. Where is he? Huh. Right. First, portion the meat on the table with your sword and slice into it, uh, it into smaller pieces. Then, mince it, slowly turning it into a fine paste. I, I really don't see why we need a sword instead of a knife for this. But fair enough. I don't need to sit. Oh. Um, I should probably actually use my sword. Not my claymore. This world is full of unsolved. Okay, that's good. Now, pour some more water into this pot. Be chef. Uh, can you take care of the ham and snapdragon? Put the broth. Filter it carefully. Okay, okay, I can do exactly that. Where's the ah? There it is. Um. <laughs> I guess that works. Now light the stove. If you keep the flame in check too long, the meat won't cook through. So cooking the meat in a. Uh... All right. That should do it. Chef, come over here and have a taste, will you? That was really fast cooking. Let me try. I mean, it only took like a literal second. Mmm. This flavor. So rich and fresh. But the mouthfeel resembles that of a tofu pudding. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure I would enjoy meat that feels like tofu pudding. Looks quite presentable, too, and requires truly exquisite worksmanship. The premise is also catchy, a meat dish that imitates vegetarian cuisine. I'm sure many would like to try it for themselves. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm sure it'll be to the innkeeper's taste. But yeah, but it doesn't dance a little jig and sing you a song. What a surprise. Turns out you're more capable than I gave you credit for. Who knew a sponger, a sponger like you would remember this recipe so well? Yeah, <laughs> I might as well tell you. Back in the day, I thought that I thought that yeah, I thought that this recipe contained some sort of secret sword art. So I studied it day and night without ceasing. Really? Now that I think about it, I must have been an absolute madman. It was just a recipe. Why would there be anything about swordsmanship in it? All that practice for to look for someone and ask and ask for justice. That's all. Oh, did someone wrong you? Ha! Huh. That was a magnificent deed. Here you are, speaking so softly about it. Uh, well, once I had exacted that justice, I came here. Oh, well, I guess he already did it. Though I'm feeling a little left out. Well, you know, with this conversation between friends. Thankfully, the innkeeper was willing to take me in and let me loaf about the place. I am now free of desire. I no longer wish to wield my sword, nor do I have any other skills. I suppose staying here for the rest of my life isn't so bad. I mean, I 
imagine eventually the innkeeper will kick you out if you're not helping. Actually, did you catch that fish? He did mention you supply some. That giant tuna. Well now, I suppose I should give you a copy of this recipe. You can make it uh, for yourself if you have the time. It's a little troublesome, but it tastes pretty good. Thank you. Will you continue staying here? Of course. I never get tired of our good chef's great food. Hmm. Well, let's put this dish aside. You can show it to the innkeeper once he gets here. It'll, hopefully it'll still be hot. After that, hey, hey, Mr. Loafer, don't you go anywhere just yet. Come over here. Oh, what do you want? I don't have another recipe for you, just so you know. Come on, didn't you say that you didn't have any skills apart from wielding your sword? Well then, draw that sword. I'm teaching you to chop meat. Hmm. Well, I guess you guys will be able to make this dish for people. Chop meat? I... Well... I'm afraid. You'll get it pretty quickly. Chop me today, make a dish tomorrow, learn yourself a few of those, and there, you've got a skill. And together you can make this dish. What are you... <clears throat> a few dishes under your belt? Yes, that'll spare me the need to watch you scrap for food around here, that's for sure. Well, come on then. Don't drag your feet. You dilly-dally some more, and you can forget forget about having any meatballs to eat tomorrow. <laughs> they seem like they've known each other a long time. Wait, what? Come on, you can't threaten me like that. All right, all right, I'll chop them, I'll chop them. Well, a nice little, uh, nice little quest. Uh, another alternative to the uh, Jade Parcells and the uh, Meat Lover's Pizza. It's always nice to have extra options, you know, depending on what ingredients you have. This one in particular, there's no easy source of uh, uh, Junior Chili's. Unlike a lot of these other ones, which are so common or buy uh, buyable. Well, next time it will finally be time to we go. do Zhang Li's story quest. Yeah. Hopefully, that'll lead us to, uh, I know, this pool, and who knows, maybe this one as well. If not, maybe it's another one of the story quests. Especially this one's gotta be a story quest, since you gotta be invited. Or, I doubt it would be a world quest. 